That's a decoy. Yeah. And there's two more behind him. He's going for a possible jumper in the Memorial Bridge, which is right behind the Lincoln Memorial. We're in the area, so we'll go check it out ourselves. Fireboats are checking under the bridge. You see police boats. There's Eagle looking in the water. Units on the bridge are clearing now. The fire trucks are clearing off. Looks like. Trying to. Rescue squad and the rescue squad's boat are returning back to their station.
one commander's helicopter. It's got a special paint job. Not like the blue ones. He's gray with a yellow tail. Look at all these geese. There's just like a bajillion geese here today. They're just everywhere. Hey guys, good morning. Well, a kind of a weird start this morning. Uh, we had a reported jumper off the Memorial Bridge, but despite a rather exhaustive search, nothing was found that I could see. So hopefully that uh, was a false alarm and not something that'll float up later. Let's uh, spin by the White House this morning and see what's going on here. I think the Vice President has already arrived. I was gonna cover her arrival, but then the uh, fire call came out and well, that was more interesting. Also got a big event on the South Lawn today. They're gonna sign the new gun control legislation. Was it the Safer Communities Act? I think that's the name of it. That's that bipartisan compromise bill that they passed uh, about a week ago. And that's gonna be signed on the South Lawn. So we might, might get a shot of uh, some famous politicals on the South Lawn with the big lens. But uh, out here, oh, we got a small protest going on. Is this the 1776ers? They were scheduled. Oh, there's the grounds crew taking their photo. All the, the Secret Service is taking the picture of all the guys who fixed the fence. Who are these guys? Are these the 1776ers? Looks like it. And March Looks like I Somebody, yeah. Yeah, it's them. A few of them. 1776 Restoration Movement. Hey, how you doing? All right, so I talked to them. They just marched up here for a bit. There's a few of them in the park. And uh, they're talking to the tourists. So it's about, it's 10 o'clock, 10, 10. The uh, big event's at 11. And out here, they're in the street with their flags. Technically, technically, the park police gets upset if you have a flagpole over a certain length. So, as we saw this weekend, you know, went the big abortion protests, whether they enforce the rules is kind of like, uh, you know, game time decision. But they do get eh, about flagpoles that are above a certain length. So, I don't know if they're going to enforce it. <laughs> Those construction guys are still taking pictures. Oh, there's a few people over here. Flags. And a group over there. And now it looks like some of them are leaving. There's still a few here. They got their sign up over there.
China, we will use our voice, we will exercise our constitutional rights to be a peaceful people. We are not a part of the hot. <laughs> I'll catch you later, man. So they're heading down, down past the White House to the mall. They're pretty much finished up their protest. They're just going to march back to their base. They uh, did show up at the White House, though. A couple black suburbans in front of me. Probably congressional leadership making their way into the White House. We'll see. Yep. All right, thank you. Fence is auto focusing. We introduce our great champion, the Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Guerrero, for the introduction and for your courage and your compassion. But more importantly, God has yes. chosen to lead us at such a time as this. Right. President Joseph R. Biden. Good morning, everyone. Doc, thank you. Uh, your heroism in treating wounded children at Uvalde, many of whom uh, you've known their whole lives, their whole lives. Mini motorcade. Not sure who. So I just finished down at the White House. I wanted to point out this place. This is the Decor Bacon House. And this was the home of Chief Justice uh, John Marshall, Supreme Court Justice Marshall, lived here after the British burned down Washington in 1812. Uh, the original designer was a guy named like Rheingold or something. He was in charge of rebuilding all the government buildings in Washington after the British burned down the city. Um, then Chief Justice Marshall, another justice, uh, congressman lived here. Uh, it's been a pretty famous house. And it's one of the few federal buildings remaining from the early 1800s here in this part of downtown, basically the World Bank IMF quarter. All right, let's keep gawking, make our way to our, get a burger or something. 92, where's he going? Leaving the Pentagon, heading somewhere. I feel the need, the need for beef.
Uh, sorry guys for the psych out, but uh, the burger got eaten before I could pull out the camera. I was hungry. <laughs> That's a rather interesting church. I haven't noticed before. Up here on Capitol Hill. Where are we at? 10th Street, 10th and Massachusetts Avenue. Sounds like an electric. Hmm. Uh, so guys, we're up on Capitol Hill. We're a bit far away from the US Capitol because I wanted to show you this park. This is Lincoln Park. And this is the subject of some controversy lately, especially during the George Floyd protests. And well, I want to show you why. Let's uh, see if we can get into the park. So Lincoln Park is very popular with all the dog walkers and babies and nannies and kids and whatnot. It also has a statue of Abraham Lincoln, and it's this statue that has caused a lot of controversy. You see, a lot of African Americans feel that this statue is demeaning to African Americans and whatnot. It's a picture of Lincoln the Emancipator freeing the slaves, but many take offense with the way that the sculpture is made, as if Lincoln was lifting the slaves up from bondage and they don't like this they want to tear it down others have said no we need to identify the statue in the context of when it was built and this was the attitudes that existed but we shouldn't be tearing down history others have said let's put up a different statue it's the subject of a bunch of study and debate all right let's swing up to the u.s capitol over here is the Library of Congress building. This is the Folger Shakespeare Library. This has one of the greatest collections of Shakespeare's works in the world. And they're basically gutting the basement. <laughs> they're putting in some sort of new, like, patio at the basement level. They kind of, like, jacked up the building and are digging out underneath. You can go to the uh, Folger Shakespeare Library's website and they'll show you the plans for that. This is the Supreme Court. Ooh, this is a curb and a half. Oh, kerthunk. That was not ADA accessible. That was a curb. Here are the riot fences at the Supreme Court. They don't have the big Jersey barriers on the back. Uh, during uh, post-January 6th, most of these fences have giant cement blocks on the back. These don't have that. This is probably just a temporary thing. These fences will probably come down soon. At least I hope so. Ugly as heck. And up here, guys, is the east front of the U.S. Capitol. Let's go take a look. It's a bit windy today. Oh, can we get in? Probably got the stupid fences up. No, it looks like we can get in. So this is the west front of the U.S. Capitol. On the north side is the Senate. And on the south side is the House. We've got a little bit of construction going on on the House side. few black suburbans. They must have all come back from the signing ceremony. There were a bunch of congressmen up and senators at the signing ceremony today. There we go. Here, U.S. Capitol. It's probably a pretty building. Over here, so this is the old Senate chamber right there, and then the new Senate. And then over here is what's known as Statuary Hall, which is the old House chamber. And then, of course, the new House chamber. And then back over there, we got a little bit of construction going on in the corner there. Not entirely sure. That's just outside Statuary Hall. There's a little hallway from Statuary Hall that goes into uh, the new Congress. The new house. Okay, let's, uh, let's go down Capitol Hill. The only bad part about going down Capitol Hill is that I'm going to have to come back up Capitol Hill a little bit later. This is a really good sledding hill in the winter. So sledding down Capitol Hill. It's not too steep. It's just really long. Now up there you can also see the fences. Yeah, they're working on the construction project on the west front of the U.S. Capitol. The architect of the Capitol's website has a detailed explanation about the stone replacement work. It's been going on for, God, almost five years, I think. And uh, right now they're on phase three, which is the west front of the U.S. Capitol. That's why you'll see a lot of uh, scaffolding hoarding or whatever you call it, the plastic sheets that uh, cover up the scaffolds. We've been showing you this for a few months now. There it is, yeah. Quite a bit. Now, most of uh, January 6th took place on this front of the Capitol, but there was a giant platform constructed over this fountain 
for the inauguration, and that's where most of the fighting, that doorway right there was some pitched battles. This is a, a new addition, this stupid camera system. Yeah, yeah. And you can see up there is a fence. It's a tall fence. It doesn't go all the way around, though. It only goes to the, the central part. It doesn't cover the new house or the new Senate. You can see over here, the new Senate does not have the fence. We have some construction going on there. The fence stops right there. And you can see they already pulled the paint off some of the stone up there, that corner there. The U.S. Capitol, Architect of the Capitol, their website and their Flickr feed has uh, daily updates, not just of that, but of all the Capitol buildings that are under renovation or reconstruction. So you can get some like photos from the other side of the fence if you check out their Flickr page. Uh, let's go down the mall, see what's going on, and then we'll swing back back up Capitol Hill once we get some energy. One of you was asking about these markings in the road. Uh, these are bike lane markings, meaning that bikes are allowed to use the road as well as cars. I showed them the other day, but I showed it upside down, so it, looked, it was actually quite confusing. Ah, here they are, DC police. This is a civil disturbance unit. DC police have got a, a CDU team, civil disturbance unit. And down here is the 1776 movement. They've kind of moved in and have been occupying this area for a few days now. I don't know if they're still paying for parking because parking is, well, it adds up. It's like 40 bucks a day. Yeah, their trucks are a little bit more dispersed today. But they were out marching earlier and they've got a they got their little camp set up there where they're giving out food and information. And of course the park police is watching very closely. Alright, let's spin across the mall. Is park police because when you're on this side of the sidewalk it's park police when you're in the street it's metropolitan police it's complicated ah what a glorious day today no look at that green just blue skies green grass and construction <laughs> this is the air and space museum it's under a major i think it's almost a billion dollars now the renovation project that's going on here. They were doing it during COVID, like closing down half the museum and closing down the other half. And then they just said, you know what, let's just get it done. Just get her done. So they're closed now until the fall. The Air and Space Museum at Dulles Airport is open, which is the uh, annex. But this one is closed for a bit. All right, let's swing back up. We're already dreading that bicycle back to Capitol Hill. Now, I complain about going uphill, but the reality is I'm on a partially electric bike. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. And we're back. There is some chalk right away. There's a guy. Solo protester. Yeah, here they are. There was a small protest on abortion. I don't even know which side of the abortion debate, but they left flowers here at the Supreme Court pro-life like a lie okay so it was the uh, pro-abortion folks pro-abortion rights pro-choice whatever you call them and they had a little protest it's a daily thing it's an hourly thing to be honest you never know which group is coming so there's your there you go let's go up to so the guys pretty busy day in washington we got around a bit saw a few things anyway thanks a lot for watching i gotta run the kid to a tennis camp or something dad like. I'll be back tomorrow though and I think we got a helicopter tomorrow. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.